Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, May 17th. We got a few economic data to go over today, so we'll just jump right into it. And we, of course, always got the initial jobless claims every Thursday. So last week we had 211,000 people apply for unemployment. Uh, well, the report last week came out, so these are always the previous weeks here, so not to be confused, uh, which is obviously a fantastic number there. Uh, forecast for this week was supposed to be uh, this week's report was supposed to be 216,000, and it came at 222,000. So, 220,000 people applied for unemployment last week, and this is actually considered a sample week. So, what that means is that the BLS, which is the Bureau of Labor Statistics, will use this number as part of their calculations to formulate the job numbers for the month of April. So, of course, we've been getting a lot of low numbers here, and we've been seeing some strong numbers, uh, job numbers. So. Expect another one coming out in June 1st for the month of May here. We also got manufacturing numbers here, uh, data from Philly Fed uh, for the month of May. So the last reporting came in at 23.2. If you recall, manufacturing kind of dipped last month uh, from the previous month. Uh, a lot of it had to do with concerns that they did a little bit of a pullback due to the concerns about possible global trade wars. You know, when uh, President Trump announced that he was going to uh, potentially put tariffs on uh, steel and aluminum different uh, items here on China from uh, Canada and Mexico to the European community that uh, manufacturing pulled back a little bit so obviously they're not getting it stuck with too much uh, with too much uh, output so forecast for this month was was 21 and it came in a whopping 34.4 so if you recall the Empire State Index which is the New York region and now the Philly Index uh, came in much hotter and a lot of it has to do with the more optimism uh, that we may not step into this global trade war, which was the initial concern. So, they're kind of it's the, the concerns are they're subsiding. They are watching it. Obviously, they're not. It's not, we're not out of the woodshed, so to speak. But it is something that they are keeping their eye on and not as concerned as they initially were. Uh, we also got leading indicators for the month of April, and as you can see, uh, we've been kind of on this path of going up 0.4 percent growth. So. It went up 0.4% back in March. Uh, forecast was 0.4 and came in at forecast 0.4%. So we begin this, uh, which is kind of showing in the near term or medium term uh, that the economy is on the right path, that that's growing. So uh, leading indicators kind of gives us that more of a uh, outlook of where the economy is moving. And this is kind of gives us a good gauge of the economy on the right path. So let's take a look at the headline news here. And right now, the stock market's all up right now. Now, on the geopolitical side of things, we uh, we see our China uh, today. Uh, China we sent over their delegates to D.C. and they're negotiating the uh, second round of the uh, U.S.-China trade pact. So we'll have to see if anything comes out up, uh, you know, more positive after a second round. Uh, also, North Korea, you know, after their announcement yesterday, they're still watching that because there's some uncertainty if this uh, meeting between uh, pre their President Un and uh, President Trump will be meeting after all, uh, you know, after they decide to pull out that, you know, if they, they pull out, they said they may pull out, so it hasn't been a formally announced that they're going to pull out, but they, uh, there's, you know, obviously they're still have some reservations about becoming a uh, denuclearized zone in the peninsula there so and that seems to be the issue and uh that you know that was what everybody was happy about that they would become a new denuclearized peninsula now that seems to be maybe back on the table again so we'll have to wait and see uh what comes to fruition of that one so let's take a look here at the uh, bond market here um bond market we're and we're getting some, as you can see, we're testing these uh, floors of support. We've been getting some huge fluctuations. Uh, like yesterday, I was watching, or actually, last two days, we'll see a drop of like 34 base points, and it'll pull back to about negative 9. It'll go up to like 34 base points, come back around negative 17. And uh, these last couple of days, we've been closing right about minus 17 days, so 17 basis points. So right now, we're resting right on this uh, floor of support. We're at basically no change from yesterday. And as you can see, we're it's so far it's holding we'll have to kind of see if it can continue hold but one of the key issues here is that could weaken a little bit is here at yields we've already passed this three three point oh four uh well, it used to be ceiling which is not going to be a floor of support which will strengthen over time uh as it hasn't been tested but the next one up is until like three point uh 
3.5 uh, yield. So it's got a long ways upwards that could continue to push bond market even further down. So right now we're at about 3.11 uh, on the 10-year treasuries here. So uh, with the yields, rising yields is pushing bond, mark, bond prices lower. Also, it's going to affect the stock market because now you're at yields that, you know, uh, that investors are going to look at that this could be a nice rate of return for them uh, with a much less uh, risky, uh, uh, you know, much less ri risky asset uh, compared to stocks. You know, uh, this has got a great rate of return. And again, there's less um, risk involved with it compared to uh, the stock market. So that's gonna that could also influence the market as uh, investors are are keeping an eye on that, so to speak. All right, so that pretty much wraps things up. Uh, rates are about the same as where we left off yesterday. Uh, if you guys want to get more data, just come over to Twitter. You'll find me at Mike Bjork. I do post throughout the day different tidbits that pop up uh, on the market as well as you know, if you're in real estate, I do pop up uh, with real estate items as well. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.